everyone. Welcome to Verdict 2017. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor with you. In the next half an hour, I'll be getting you all the news and updates and special reports from states that are going to polls this year. Let us start with the headlines. Campaigning picks up uh, pace for the third phase of elections in Uttar Pradesh on Sunday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Rahul Gandhi, Akhilesh Yadav hit the campaign trail today. Sixty-eight percent voting registered in Uttarakhand and over sixty-five percent in second phase of polling in Uttar Pradesh on Wednesday. Election Commission orders removal of pictures of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minister Venkaiah Naidu from the website of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana says it is a violation of model code of conduct. And the Congress party lodges a complaint with the Election Commission against the BJP, seeks a thorough investigation into Aram Sharmila's allegation of being offered money to contest against Manipur Chief Minister. First up, news from Uttar Pradesh and campaigning for the third phase of elections uh, scheduled for Sunday is now entering its last leg. Well, UP Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav will address the public in Itawa, Mainpuri and Kannauj districts today. Yadav is also scheduled uh, to campaign for his sister-in-law, Aparna Yadav, and Rahul Gandhi will address the three rallies in Sitapur, Hardoi and Unnao districts. The senior Congress leader, Gulam Nabi Azad, will be holding uh, rallies in uh, Barabanki and Lucknow. All right, uh, Akhilesh Suman is now joining us live from Itawa. Akhilesh, you are at uh, one of uh, the Yadav family's uh, strongholds uh, there. Well, stakes for SP is particularly high in these uh, districts, uh, Itawa, Kannauj, and Menpuri. Uh, Itawa is the native place of Akhilesh Yadav. Really stakes high in these three areas, isn't it? Yeah, naturally, because uh, out of 69 seats, last time, 55 seats were in the pocket of uh, uh, Samajwadi party. Now they have put candidate on 57 of the seats and 12 seats are going to Congress. And major stake is in these three districts as far as Samajwadi is concerned, mm. Manpuri, Itawa and Kanoj as you have told. Mm. So, so it is not only because they are a stronghold, it is also because they have been symbol of uneven development in Uttar Pradesh. Because, because of being the stronghold of Mulayan's family, these three districts are far better developed than other districts, like uh, especially uh, Itawa and Manpuri. And people there are scared whether their old VIP uh, status will be there or not. And that old status is also uh, confined to one particular group of, of, of the uh, state. So it is very interesting to see that how far when uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav and Akhilesh Yadav are not uh, going with each other in a very congenial way, and Sipal Singh Jado is also fighting election from the same district, uh, from the Swan Singh Nagar constituency. Mm -hmm. So it is like a test of internal strife between, uh, among the Bulayan's family mm -hmm. and also how far the other votes get transferred into the Congress poll. Because Congress had in the past always complained that if yes. it goes in alliance with Samajwadi parties, mm -hmm. like uh, RJD once upon a time they went into alliance with RJD in Bihar and they complained that RJD vote could not get transferred in uh, in uh, in Congress. Yes. Now they are going first time with Samajwadi party and they had to see that whether Samajwadi party's votes are coming to the Congress poll or not. Hmm. So it is just of both Akhilesh Jadav, whether Akhilesh Jadav is going to get the same respect hmm. and same response from the uh, Mulayam's stronghold as hmm. Mulayam Singh was having or yes. he goes some, uh, gets some differential treatment or even he gets a uh, major seats uh, from the uh, area because Akhilesh is trying to say oh, that he is not only the family inheritor of Mulayam Singh Jadav, he is also the political inheritor of Mulayam Singh Jadav and mm -hmm. any other member of the family stands nowhere in, in parallel to Akhilesh Jadav. So it is really very interesting situation given the fact mm -hmm. that UP politics is uh, coordinating this yes. Mulayam Singh family for a long time and 
people say that it is not only Mulan's family, it is also particular caste and particular community. Right. So it is test for all these factors, whether they are working this time election or not in these areas. Yes, Akhilesh, you talked about multiple factors there, and especially you talk about the SP family feud, uh, because, you know, this time Mulan Singh Yadav has not really campaigned except uh, for his brother and his daughter-in-law recently. Uh, and Itawa is also one of the many areas that have been impacted by the uh, this family feud, as well as the ticket distribution is concerned. Uh, so that is also going to play a big factor. Naturally, it will be very interesting to see that whether some of the seats that were given by Sipal Singh Yadav in the past mm -hmm. and when it was uh, proved that Akhilesh Yadav is the main uh, person, he is the president of Samajwadi party when election commission also recognized, mm -hmm. then uh, some of the uh, fans of Sipal Yadav were not given ticket and now they are uh, campaigning against Samajwadi party mm -hmm. uh, official candidate. So it is really a test of the time for Akhilesh Yadav that he has legally got the stronghold of the party, Samajwadi party, yes. that was made and built by his father and his brother and other associates. Right. Now, whether the people are recognizing the same thing or not. Absolutely. Because rebels, there are also very uh, strong supporters of Mulayam Singh Jadav mm -hmm. in the past and they have been very close to Sepal also. So yes. it is uh, uh, really, everyone is keeping a closed eye and uh, keeping the fingers crossed that how far Achilles goes in this... Uh, um, transfer of power in the Samajwadi party. Right, Akhilesh. So it is not, as far as Kishwara. the Samajwadi party is concerned, it is a, a, obviously a big stake battle uh, and also a big stake uh, battle as far as the future of uh, Akhilesh Yadav, as far as the popularity goes, is concerned. Thank you so much, Akhilesh, for all those updates. We'll keep coming back to you in the subsequent bulletins. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address a rally in Barabanki district today, where he is scheduled to address the six more rallies in the coming days. Well, BJP President Amit Shah will address the three rallies in uh, Kaushambi, Pratapgarh and Amethi. Also, Home Minister Rajnath Singh will be addressing rallies in Farukhabad, Kanpur and Unnao districts. Well, my colleague uh, Ravindra Singh Shiran is now joining us live uh, from uh, Kanpur. Uh, Ravindra, as far as the third phase of uh, polling in Uttar Pradesh is concerned, this is obviously considered a stronghold of the Samajwadi party. But, uh, you know, as far as the BJP goes, now Prime Minister Modi is going to address the rallies in Hardoi and Barabanki today. And uh, this the, the BJP is really making its uh, final push to really woo the ele electorate ahead of uh, this important phase. Yeah, that's a quite important phase, at least as you... Uh, said that this is very important phase, especially for the chief minister, as this is the uh, Sam Samajwadi party, which we have seen in the recent part, it has uh, strongly dominated this area, especially in the, nine, l l uh, the 69 seats which are going to the polls on uh, 19th of this March. But what we, in the last election, which we have seen, the vo voting percentage of the, uh, and the poll uh, of the BJP has been considerably increased in the last Lok Sabha election. Mm -hmm. And this, the uh, particular seat of the Kanpur was uh, snatched by the BJP from the hands of Congress party, which Congress party was uh, winning for the last two elections in 2019 and 2004 by mm -hmm. Sri Prakash Jaiswal, who was the cabinet minister in the UPA government. And this time it has been represented by the uh, BJP stronger, uh, one of the most senior leader, Murli Manohar Joshi. He could manage to win the seat in the Lok Sabha election. This is the region the BJP is hoping about their uh, party is now heading towards a formidable force and they will be able to form the government. And the reason is that they have, in the last couple of months and the last couple of years, on riding on the Modi wave, they could manage. The, mm -hmm. This is what the confidence of the BJP leaders we have seen yesterday and before that also that they are hopeful that they will be able to garner a lot of support from this area as the mm -hmm. Modi wave is continuing, which we, they have seen in the last uh, 2014 Lok Sabha election. Mm -hmm. the, reason, uh, the main issues which are dominating in this area, this is uh, before the independence, this area, especially the Kanpur city, Kanpur district was known as the east of Manchester. This is the... Uh, most important industrial area of British ruled India. At that time it was called uh, Manchester of India because uh, uh, leather industry and uh, the textile industry were the yeah. most important pecuniary, which are giving pecuniary patronage to the mm -hmm. economy of this. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, but after the demonetization which we have seen is that uh, the people are saying that they are facing a lot of trouble now right. because of demonetization, a lot mm -hmm. of... Uh, uh, people are moving, especially the labor class which has been moving out and people of right. this area are facing a huge, they are uh, acute pinch they are facing and which kind of election issues 
the people will vote for because besides uh, the industrial uh, problems, the, the part of the countryside in Kanpur, they are facing a problem of power shortage there. The uh, uh, right. electricity is one of the problems. Water supply is also one of the problems. Education is another Absolutely issue. Absolutely, development the remains and one of the crucial the issues there. Uh, to uh, at least issue the elementary issues. Absolutely, the development in the elementary issues that you're talking about uh, are the main issues. But of course, uh, with a number of other factors uh, coming in, like demonetization, we have to wait and watch how uh, people are going to wait as far as third phase of polling in Uttar Pradesh. Go. Thank you so much, Ravind, for all those updates from Kanpur. And on Wednesday, two political uh, bigwigs had a busy day in Uttar Pradesh while Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed an election rally in a Kannauj district. The Prime Minister told the crowd that the SP Congress alliance will shatter their dreams. While Chief Minister Kilesh Adav and his alliance partner Rahul Gandhi also held rallies in the poll-bound state. Let's take a look. As Uttar Pradesh voted in its second phase of polling, campaigning continued for the third phase. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed an election rally in Kannauj, the first in the city by any PM in 46 years. In his speech, Modi criticized the pre-poll alliance between the ruling Samajwadi Party and the Congress Party. He also declared the incumbent government anti-poor. Kannauj is slated to go to polls on February 19th. <laughs> तो कहीं अप नजर नहीं आता है सब कुछ डाउन नजर आता है सब कुछ डाउन नजर आता है आज यूपी में जनता का भरोसा डाउन है विकास का ग्राफ डाउन है कानून व्यवस्था डाउन है माताओं बहनों की बेटियों की सुरक्षा का मसला डाउन है Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav also held several rallies in Unnao, Lucknow and Raibareli. Addressing the audience, he said voters in Uttar Pradesh should not trust BSP as it might join hands with the BJP after the elections. Akhilesh also targeted the centre, saying that Man Ki Baat itself was not enough and that the centre should deliver results. He also highlighted schemes launched by his government for the welfare of the people. TV baby unki Man Ki Baat sunli. कई वर्षों से लगातार उनकी मन की बात चल रही है लेकिन कमाल यह है कि जनता अभी तक उनकी मन की बात नहीं समझ पाई और वो अपने मन की बात भी नहीं समझा पाए हमने तो कहा कि इतने दिनों से मन की बात कर रहे हैं आप कम से कम कोई काम की बात तो करो कि कोई काम किया हो तो हमें भी बता दो Meanwhile, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi attacked Prime Minister Modi on the issue of demonetization and black money at a rally in Barabanki. Mitro, I am fighting against the people of Kale Dhan. And I have a line. There is a man standing there, a man standing there, a man standing there, a man standing there, a man standing there. BSP Supremo Mayavati also addressed rallies in Raibareli and Barabanki. In Barabanki, Mayavati claimed that her party will win 300 seats in the assembly elections. She also said that exit and opinion polls are undermining her party's electoral strength. Terming the Samajwadi party rule as corrupt and criminal, she alleged that the state government had failed to provide security to women and minorities in the state. BJP. अपने किसी भी चेहरे को प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में पेश करने की अभी तक भी हिम्मत नहीं जुटा पाई है और वहीं दूसरी तरफ सपा के मुख्यमंत्री पद का चेहरा जो अपनी सरकार में शुरू से ही यहाँ खासकर कानून व्यवस्था व अपराध नियंत्रण के मामले में जबरदस्त दागी चेहरा रहा है Voting for the seven-phased polls in Uttar Pradesh ends on March 8th. The results will be announced on March 11th. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha Television. And suggesting that all is well in the first family of the Samajwadi Party, well, Dimple Yadav, wife of Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav, campaigned for her sister-in-law, Aparna Yadav, in Lucknow, Kant Assembly seat. While standing alongside Aparna, Dimple cited various development works undertaken by the Samajwadi Party government. She also attacked the centre over demonetisation. 
Well, earlier in the day, Mulayam Singh Yadav also campaigned for Aparna Yadav in Lucknow, making an emotional appeal for Aparna. Mulayam Singh Yadav said that the elections are attached to his political respect and honor, and he would be grateful to the people if they supported his younger daughter-in-law. Well, this was Mulayam's only third campaign in these elections. He had earlier campaigned for his brother Shivpal Yadav. Now, Aparna is contesting from the Lucknow can seat against Congress uh, turned BJP leader Rita Bahuguna Joshi. जो हम लोगों ने बाजी इसके से चुनाव है, उन बाजियों को हम लोगों ने समय से पहले पूरा कर दिया था, बिजली का। और आज हम कहना चाहते हैं वो हाउ के चुनाव होता पत्र नहीं लिखे होंगे तो बात नहीं कि कहेंगे कि यहाँ की समाचार क्या क्या है, वो लिख के देंगे तो हम समाधान करें। आपको पता है कि हवा किस ओर चल रही है? And today is the last date of making nominations for the seventh phase of elections in Uttar Pradesh and the second phase of Manipur Assembly polls. Well, voting for these phases will take place on 8th of March. Well, scrutiny of candidates for the UP's sixth phase and Manipur's first phase will also begin today. Polling for this phase is scheduled for 4th of March. And a look at other election-related developments in Polpuri. The Election Commission has ordered removal of pictures of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minister M. Venkaiah Naidu from the website of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana as they were violative of the model code. Following the order, the pictures were taken off. While well, the poll watchdog also sought to know from Cabinet Secretary P.K. Sinha the reason as to why this was not done before when the model code was in force. The Allahabad High Court has sought a reply from the Election Commission by today as to what steps can be taken to curb any inflammatory atmosphere during the current electoral process. While well, the court was taking note of allegations that appeals were being made by various political parties on the basis of religion, while well, the High Court's Lucknow bench gave the order on a PIL filed by a local lawyer seeking directions to curb any such inflammatory atmosphere in the ongoing Uttar Pradesh Assembly polls. The poll percentage in Punjab after re-polling in some booths has been revised to 77.36%, a tad lower than 78.6% announced earlier for 4th of February assembly elections. Well, the percentage of the third gender voting was also revised to 23.61%, while the revised poll percentage is lower than 78.57% voting witnessed in 2012 assembly polls. In Verdict 2017, we'll take a very short break. We'll be right back. This year, we have declared this campus as a net energy positive campus. In this campus, we have triple attack vapor option machine. This is one of the highest efficient cooling systems we have. Target by 2022 is 100 gigawatt. If we achieve that, India will become a leader in green energy and it will give the lesson to entire world. Watch Eureka with SK Singh, Director General, National Institute of Solar Energy, Guru Gram, only on Rajya Sabha Television. Well, thanks for staying with us. Over 65% voters turned up at the polling booths to exercise their franchise in the second phase of Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections, where the 720 candidates in the fray Uttar Pradesh is witnessing a three-way contest among the Samajwadi Party Congress Alliance, the BJP and the BSP. Second phase elections in Uttar Pradesh on Wednesday amid tight security, polling was held in 67 assembly constituencies spread across 11 districts. मैं ये समझता हूं कि ये सारे इंतजामात के चलते जो बहुत अच्छी पार्टिसिपेशन वोटर्स की देखने को मिली और 
पांच बजे तक ऑलरेडी 65.5 परसेंट हमारी वोटिंग हो चुकी थी एंड स्टिल काउंटिंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स दैट सॉ वोटिंग इंक्लूडेड सहारनपुर बिजनौर मुरादाबाद संभल रामपुर बरेली अमरोहा पीलीभीत लखीमपुर खेरी शाहजहांपुर एंड बदायूं दिस फेज ऑफ इलेक्शन इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन वन इज साइजेबल मुस्लिम पॉपुलेशन एंड अनदर इज कॉन्सोलिडेशन अगेंस्ट द माइनोरिटी वोटर्स इफ देर इज स्प्लीट इन द मुस्लिम पॉपुलेशन एडवांटेज मे गो टू बीजेपी बट इफ इट इज नॉट एडवांटेज मे कम टू द अलायंस बिटवीन एस पी एंड कांग्रेस Over 50,000 police constables, hundreds of home guards, and several head constables were deployed to ensure free and fair elections. There were no reports of any untoward incident from any of the polling booths. अभी तक सबको शांति पूर्ण रहा है और हम लोग पूरे प्रयास किए हुए हैं कि सबको शांति पूर्वक संपन्न होगा और किसी भी प्रकार की स्थिति से निपटने के लिए हम पूरी तरह से तैयार हैं. Voting was marked by long queues in many places and enthusiasm among first-time voters. 720 candidates are in the fray with as many as 22 from Bijnor and a minimum of four nominees from Amroha. Prominent contestants include SP Minister Azam Khan and his son Abdullah Azam from the Rampur and Swar seats. For the BJP Legislature Party leader Suresh Kumar Khanna is contesting from Shah Jahanpur city. What's sad is that people have seen a lot of bad days. In the name of the good days, people have become so tired. और इसका तो जुल्म हुए है ये क्योंकि बहुत कमजोरों का इलाका है जीवन स्तर बढ़ाया है खुशियां दी हैं, प्यासे को पानी दिया है जिनके सम्मान छीन लिए गए थे उन्हें सम्मान दिया है मुझे लगता नहीं है नोटबंदी कोई मुद्दा है नोटबंदी आम आदमी उससे संतुष्ट है और उसे प्रसन्न है और मेरा मानना है की अब उत्तर प्रदेश में भारतीय जनता पार्टी बहुमत की ओर आगे बढ़ रही है पहले राउंड का जो परिणाम समझ में आ रहा है और दूसरे राउंड में मैं मानता हूं कि निश्चित रूप से भारतीय जनता पार्टी भारी बढ़त के साथ आगे आएगी साफ स्वच्छ मतदान किया है अच्छा प्रत्याशी विजयी होकर जाए प्रदेश में उच्च कोटि की सरकार बने ये बदलाव अमन चैन शांति प्रदेश का विकास ये कांग्रेस के और समाजवादी गठबंधन की जो प्रत्याशी है रुचि वीरा उसको वोट डाला है Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi and Bahujan Samaj Party Chief Mayawati campaigned extensively in the second phase constituencies. Polling will be next held on February 19th, 23rd, 27th and March 4th and 8th. Counting of votes will be taken up on March 11th. Bureau Report, Raja Sabha TV. And the single phase voting for 69 out of the 70 assembly seats in Uttarakhand concluded peacefully on Wednesday. Well, a 68% voter turnout was recorded, which was 2% more than the last elections. Voting in Uttarakhand took place amid tight security arrangements. Long queues were seen right from the morning itself as the state voted for 69 out of 70 assembly seats. Polling was peaceful with local issues appearing to dominate the voters' mind. Uttarakhand uh, voter turnout had been the record turnout highest ever. At 5 p.m., the percentage of turnout was 68 percent. जो भी हमारी जो सरकार आई, कुछ बैठा करें हमारे, एम साथ हैं। समाज के लिए कुछ सुधार चाहिए जीवन में और हमारे विजय कॉलोनी में पानी की समस्या, बिजली की समस्या, सड़क की समस्या। जो यंग जेनरेशन में जो जैसे बेरोजगारी है उसकी ये जो मेन समस्या है उसको दूर करें। Voting for the assembly seat of Karnataka constituency was rescheduled for 9th March following the death of a BSP candidate. Chief Minister Hari Shravat, who is seeking a second stint in office, is contesting from two seats: Haridwar Rural and Kicha in Udham Singh Nagar district. With a lot at stake, the main contenders fielded their star campaigners in the election. The BJP even had a lot of union ministers addressing poll rallies. I will say that we will give a good and good way to give a good way so that I will show the government in which I want the government to go. Now we have seen a lot of joy and we have to do a lot of things. So that the law is going to be done, the law is going to be done, the law is going to be done, and the law is going to be done, and the law is going to be done. बिल्कुल ऐसी परिस्थिति में विकास के काम सब ठप पड़ गए और लगा ही नहीं कि यहाँ कोई शासन है जंगल राज जैसा लगा लोगों को तो इसलिए शुरू से ही लोगों ने ये मन बना दिया था इस समय इस सरकार को उखाड़ना है 
628 candidates are in the fray for the single phase of polling in the Hill State. In the 2012 assembly elections, out of the 70 assembly seats, BJP won 31, Congress 32, BSP 3, Independent 3 and UKDP 1 seat. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. Well, the Congress party has lodged a complaint with the election commission against the BJP for allegedly offering to finance the poll campaign of activist turned politician Iram Sharmila in Manipur. Well, in its complaint to the poll panel, the Congress party alleged that the charges by Sharmila were grave and serious and requested a thorough investigation. The party also said uh, that the allegations need to be investigated in depth to reach the truth to save constitution and the democratic process. Well, the BJP, however, has termed these allegations as baseless and an absolute lie. Well, briefing media on Tuesday, Sharmila had announced that she was offered 36 crore rupees by a BJP leader. Later, she clarified that it was more of a suggestion than an offer. Sharmila recently launched the People's Resurgence and Justice Alliance and announced to take on Manipur Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh in the Assembly polls. And the Election Commission has sent a team to Punjab to review the security arrangements after the Aam Aadmi Party alleged breach of security of EVMs in the state. While Chief Electoral Officer of Himachal Pradesh and Additional Chief Electoral Officer of Delhi will visit the constituencies to interact with the political parties. They will also preview the CCTV footages and logbooks which have been maintained at the storage rooms. While well, the team has been asked to submit its report by 17th of February. Meanwhile, the team has uh, given a clean shirt uh, to the Patiala District Administration on the same matter. Well, that's all in this edition of Verdict 2017. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at the same time. Thanks for watching.